Hey guys, welcome back. Um, we're going to finish up the uh, build today. Not the build, we're not finishing up. We're definitely not finishing up the build, boys. Um, we are going to finish tearing down the 2J that uh, will be going in the build. Yesterday I got about halfway done. I got everything stripped off. Uh, the exhaust, the intake, all of the stuff on the front, you know what I mean? The pumps and stuff like that. Um, today we're going to tear down the rest we're going to see how clean it is inside so far I've been pretty impressed it's been pretty clean um, you know everything's been coming off nice nothing's rusted nothing's broken off inside um, show you here so there's the uh, there's what we got to yesterday well right, guys we're in now it's looking clean it's got a bit of a grunge or build up there, but I mean, it has been running in God knows who long. I think it came over here in early 2017, so it, it could have been a year, year and a half since this thing has run last, but so far it's looking pretty good. I mean, all the, the lobes are looking pretty good. The pitch on the lobes, guys, are just... You can see that lobe. I see now why they make so much, uh, why they can take so much power, the lift on them is just insane. So we'll keep going, see if we can't get this head off. Well guys. Doesn't look like it was running too bad. I don't know how many, uh, I can't remember how many kilometers were on it when we got it, but the cylinder head looks like it was in good shape. Um, well, obviously, uh, get some cylinder head work done on that, but everything looked like it was pretty good. Well, guys, we've got, uh, we've got the, the pistons all out. I think we've been real lucky. I mean, everything looks like it's in top-notch shape. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not, uh, I, I wasn't much of a JDM kind of guy, but, uh, this block is built bulletproof. One thing I will point out is uh, my Coyote had all kinds of of casting grit inside the wall. Uh, I didn't really like I went through with a file and kind of filed some off, but there's tons of casting um, grit left on the walls of the Coyote engine that I just did. This is 21 years old and is smooth as can be. Like this is, I can see why the uh, why the 2J is, uh, is so sought after. This is just a a bulletproof little block. I feel like the cranks fairly well balanced spinning it like I can see all the balancing marks in it. I'm still going to send it to the machine shop when we send it in. I'll still send it in have it properly weighted balanced to make sure that everything's in spec but man is that ever a smooth uh, is that ever a smooth crank so we're almost there we'll finish taking this crank out. Oh yes the crank is in Fantastic shape. All the mains are in good shape. Rod journals are in good shape. So I think what we're gonna do guys, I think we're gonna bring the head in to get done. Um, now the research that I've done, I mean five to 600 horsepower, which is what we're looking to push this stock head is more than capable. Guys are pushing way more horsepower than that out of a stock head. I think I'll have all the valves replaced. You know what I mean? New springs, new guides. Get the head cleaned up. They'll get the head decked. Maybe port it a little bit. I don't think I'm really going to port it a whole lot, guys. I mean, leave your comments if you think that I need porting. But I think with the, um, I think with the amount of uh, power guys are pushing with the stock head, I think just a nice cleanup, really nice springs. You know, deck the heads, new valves. Uh, new seals, retainers, stuff like that. Get that cleaned up. That'll look like brand new. We are going to get new cams. Um, the, the motor just looks like it was run hard. Uh, I'm sure that it was, being that it was a 2J. Um, so I'll probably get uh, new lifters, new cams, stuff like that. The crank is in amazing shape. Um, we're going to go to the machine shop when we take the head and the block down. I think I'm going to take the, the crank down now. I mean, I think it's probably pretty well balanced. 
like it's in close to balanced but i don't think i think it could be better so i'm definitely going to take that down have them balance the crank um stock crank is good for i mean this guy's pushing a thousand horse with a stock crank so i think we'll leave the stock crank in there buy new rods new pistons stuff like that um the pistons are down here i mean it looked like it was running okay i you know i mean it's a turbo engine it was beaten on quite a bit so you know pistons aren't in the greatest shape but we're gonna get new rods new pistons that kind of thing and then the block um the block is going to go in as well obviously they're going to clean that up we'll get the head decked on this maybe get a line bore i'm not sure if we need it like this thing is in incredible shape um i am i am slowly becoming a believer of the 2j i mean this thing is uh is clean much cleaner than my block on the uh mustang that i just rebuilt on the coyote um, again, this thing's got oil squirters 20 years ago for just put that into the coyote engine, you know, five years ago. So it tells you how far ahead they were. I think I'm going to check the bore and just see where we're at, um, from the stock, what the stock bore was supposed to be to what the tolerances are. Um, if needed, I mean, we'll punch it out 30 over whatever, but I don't think that we're going to need that. I think that, uh, I think the blocks gonna be in pretty good shape. Yeah, very impressive, guys. The block's in uh, in killer shape. So I'll just uh, finish it up here, get a couple of the sensors out of the block, and maybe tomorrow we'll get it on down to uh, Competition Automotive. So, Scott, what you do now is, would you call that fisting the block? Yeah, I'm fisting her hard, bud. Hold on. We'll give her the bitch the shocker. <laughs> I just want you guys to see what I have to put up with all day, every day. So I've got the uh, bore gauge set at 3.39, which is what uh, I looked up and this, the standard bore should be. So I just want to check and kind of see. So, so far here, this thing doesn't need anything in the cylinder. The walls are in great shape. I'm, uh, I'm between three and a half, I'd say three and a quarter thou to three and three quarter thou. So for a bore of 3.39, which is basically 3.4, um, and a standard of an inch, one thou per inch, like I'm right there. This block, I'm very, very happy with, uh, with the turn out of this. All of the specs are uh, are right where they need to be. Wow, I can't believe how close this thing is. Well, Japanese quality is definitely uh, a little higher than uh, than our domestic stuff. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna check a couple more tolerances just to make sure that it's you know, all the way down to the bottom, I did. But uh, I don't think this, this cylinder is gonna need anything. Um, I'll take it down, get them to clean it up, get them to deck it, or deck it properly. Um, maybe line more, I'm not sure if it's gonna need it. I honestly don't think that it does, but I'll get them to check that, make sure that, uh, that it's all good. And uh, we'll start voting on what parts we wanna put in this. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys want, you know, Real Street or Ryan Crower or Manly or, or whatever, but we'll start, uh, We'll start getting some votes up on what kind of internals we want. Definitely gonna go for forged internals, obviously. But uh, all in all, absolutely no scoring in the walls. All the walls are very, very clean. They're all within spec, right from uh, probably what they came from factory with. So nice honing, you know what I mean? Competition Automotive will clean that up for us. Maybe uh, put it through a wash, give her a coat of paint, and we'll start uh, We'll start putting it back together, guys. That's it for today. We'll uh, see if I can't get down to competition tomorrow and see if we can get a timeline on how long it'll take for them to uh, get it done for us. Yo, can you fist the block one more time? Fist the <laughs> So, this is the motor, guys. Again, I know I say this every video. This is the motor that's going in the Toyota Super that we're giving away. 
The body kit, I have heard from, uh, from Veilside, it's close to being completed. So they're hoping to ship it in the next week or two, uh, which means we should have the body kit in the next, let's say three or four weeks. We're gonna start tearing the, the motor down, but if you haven't uh, subscribed yet, one of the YouTube subscribers is gonna win the car. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, like, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and we'll, uh, we'll see you tomorrow.